Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome into this Tuesday. Uh, Team Never Settle Live Boot Camps. And yes, we are ready to bring that good, good, good pain tonight. And I mean that in the best way possible. But go ahead and come in, get your space set up, get your surfaces ready, get that space cleared out all you need. We are about two minutes behind, so we're going to speed this introduction up and get back on here in the next minute. So you got 60 seconds from this time I walk off to get everything that you need ready to go. And we're going to jump into our two-round warm-up and then just move on from there. Again, welcome in. Hope you've been having a good week. Hope you had a great weekend. And we're looking to build on some of that tonight if you haven't already. Welcome in, welcome in. Got about 30 more seconds, about 30 more seconds. Get ready to go. Hip hop is a whole new station. Ready? Here you go. 
You know, hips up, you can feel a stretch in the back of those legs as you push those hips up. Maintain it just a slight bend in the knee. Let everything else go through the hip. to our left and we are going. Turn your listening um, 
gear is on. Let's go ahead and get into this. So we have one, two, three, four, five movements here. We got four rounds, so we're going to need to use this time to our advantage. First thing up, we have pile push-ups today. So a pile push-up is just like our power push-ups. We want to add in a little bit of explosiveness to the move, getting those hands off the ground, but we're going to work between a traditional push-up and a close grip push-up. So in that normal push-up stance to start with here, you can start in either wide grip or close grip. Doesn't matter to, uh, really doesn't matter to me. However, just each and every push-up is one rep. So you're gonna get five, uh, what are you up? You're gonna get five traditional push-ups and five close grips. So that regular four, hands and everything in line. You're gonna lower that chest down, power up, then you're gonna jump those hands in to a close grip push-up and then back out to that wide grip. Now, keep in mind with our close grip push-ups, you wanna tuck those elbows into the side and push them into the body this way. Whereas with our traditional, those elbows are coming out away from the body. That close grip's coming more inside and it's going to target more of those tricep muscles that we're trying to engage there. So you're going to alternate in between those two. If you're not ready to be explosive and move those hands off the ground in a jumping manner, no worries. Five push-ups of each, you can still do the same thing by still alternating as well. So you're still going to get in that push-up form. Wide stance or close grip to start. We start with a wide grip here. Go push up, walk those hands in, go immediately into close grip, and then you just go ahead and alternate in between those two. Now, same thing with the explosiveness and with that walking version without jumping. You can use your hands, I mean, you can use your knees as well. Don't think we necessarily need to show you that per se, but do make sure that those hips are extended so you're able to lower the whole body. Now you can still do both variations with that one where you're jumping the hands off or you're walking the hands in between the two variations. That's going to be a traditional wide grip and then a close grip push up. Five of each, 10 total reps, every rep is one, all right? Moving on to movement number two, going back to kind of what we did there with the lateral lunges in our warm up, but we're gonna mix in the high knee. No alternating here, we want 10 straight reps on each leg before we uh, move over to that next side. I'm actually having you start in a full standing position, so feet together, and you gotta step out into a lateral lunge on one side. Drop down, just like you did, but when you come back to the start, you wanna bring that leg off the ground, drive that knee in here. So now we're gonna add in a little instability, force you to have to work on some balance and also still working on the core as you're bringing that knee up in an explosive manner. So start feet together, nice big lunge out, bringing that leg right over, driving in, and right back to that spot. If you're not as balanced, no worries. You can still use your feet on the ground and step it out there. Bring that foot together, and then go ahead and go into that high knee. No worries, don't overdo it. If you're finding yourself falling off balance, if it's getting frustrating, go ahead and take those steps in between both movements. That way you can stay more balanced and get a cleaner, more efficient repetition. So as I said, there's gonna be 10 reps on each, a total of 20. Stand with one side before you go to the next. We're now alternating there. Movement number three, dips with a leg lift here. So going over to the elevated surface. And with our dips, is very crucial. It's very important that you understand. We don't want you to push away. Let us turn this to the side to give you a better visual and understanding. So as you're on that surface there, you're going to bring your body off. There's three ways you can do it. Legs straight is going to be our most advanced. It's going to be you pushing as much as your body weight as possible. You can also bring those legs slightly in where they're more intermediate. Knees are bent, heels are down. And then the last one, feet can be flat to the floor all the way at a 90 degree angle. However, notice the upper body doesn't change. You want to keep your back as close to that bench as possible as you go and lower your, body, your butt down towards the floor. Bending at the elbows, keeping that back close to the bench, coming back to the top. Notice she's not pushing away from this surface. She's going at a vertical angle, straight down, straight back up. We don't want you guys to push away where you're feeling more of a stretch and strain in the shoulder. Keep the contraction, keep the pressure within the triceps there, and then that upper back region as well. It should almost feel as if you're compressing your entire body. That's how close I want your arms together. And like I said, Straight legs is gonna be most advanced. Intermediate legs are slightly bent, heels down, toes are up, and then feet all the way in, flat to the floor, 90 degree. That's gonna take your legs essentially all the way out of the movement. You can also use them as assistance to help push your body up and down from the floor. We got 16 alternating reps, getting into that position, um, ready to dip down, legs are gonna be out. Gonna go down. 
come up, opposite hand and foot into a high knee and back, or into a toe touch, and you're gonna alternate in between those two movements there, all right? So that is gonna be one rep per side. Every toe touch, every dip to combine is gonna be one rep each, that's a total of 16. Next up, we're going into our multifunctional lunge. Six reps each leg. We're not going to alternate with this one also. A lot of three, I mean, it's going to be all three phases of a lunge put into one repetition. So start nice and tall. We're going to start with a reverse lunge where I'm going to have you step back. Knee is still elevated, 90 degrees up top. You're going to come up to the middle, go into a lateral lunge. Good. Then bring that foot back inside and then go forward lunge. Now, all three of those are one repetition. So three lunges per rep. It's gonna be six on each leg. And like I said, we're not gonna alternate. Sticking with that same side. So, nice and tall, lunging back, coming to the middle, going out lateral, then finishing with that forward lunge. Be sure that you keep that knee elevated on the backwards and the forward, and you're also getting enough separation on the lateral so that when you do shift that weight back, you feel a slight stretch here, and you're maintaining that upright position, still maintaining the knee for um, going past that toe. All right, six reps each side there. Six reps each side. And last but not least, we have our get downs. Now, we just want to use this one to really spike the heart rate up, kind of finish the round on a really good note, getting that cardiovascular system going. So unlike the burpee, where we do more of a squat, we're going to more of that hinge, kind of like we did with our warm-up with the plank and the toe touch. So have you hinge through the hips, get the hands to the floor, you're gonna thrust down, try to touch the top of the thighs to the mat, pull it back through the hips, coming all the way back up, full standing position. If you're struggling with going at that pace, no worries, you can still hinge down, get the hips to the floor, then you can walk those legs back in, coming up, and repeat. All right, so six reps, no matter which variation you do there. One more quick run through. Final push-ups, traditional push-up, close grip, alternating in between the two. Every push-up is one, five each, ten total. Move number two, lateral lunges, full standing position, lunge out, bring that leg in, high knee, and repeat. Not alternating, ten each side, Stay with that same side before you switch over. Move number three, dips with the leg lift. So using that surface, keeping your back as close to that surface as possible as you go at vertical angle. Once you make it back to the top, all in one motion, you want to right into that leg lift, opposite hand and foot. And also, I didn't mention it, I'm going to say it now, be sure that you finish your dip first so that way you maintain more balance instead of falling, trying to come up out of the dip while lifting the leg off the ground. Move number four, multifunctional lunge there, six and six as you just saw, going in all three phases, backwards, lateral, forward, six straight, then switch, and lastly, get downs, extending through the hips, thrusting the hips to the floor, exploding the hips back up, using this one to spike the heart rate back up. We got four rounds here. Let's go ahead and get it started. Like I said, a little press for time, but let's put two rounds behind us. Then we can start to feel good about what's left. So hopefully that all makes sense, but if not, you will see it real here soon. All right, guys, that was a mouthful, and we have a lot of work to get done. So go ahead and get into that push-up plank position. We are starting with that final push-up, traditional and close grip, alternating, 10 total, five of each. Let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take your positions. Hearts going in four, three, two, and let's go. Ten reps. Remember, you're alternating through close grip to wide grip. No matter which way you start, just get five each, whether you're jumping those hands in and out or you're walking them in between both two phases. Yes. 
Switching it right over, filling that in that quad there. Explosive, you can't walk those legs in and out. Just be sure you're extending and do the hips first. Ready and go.
boy, you got 45 seconds. All right, round two. All right, we're gonna keep pushing and do the best we can. Lost a few minutes earlier, so that four rounds is looking a little iffy, but we're gonna keep pushing and see what we got. And worst case scenario, if we can't get it done, once the video ends, just go back and do another round. Hold yourself accountable. Five push-ups, 10 reps, five and five. Ready, and go.
Chase. All right, guys, take that last sip of water. Let's make this one count. Ooh.
more get down. Ready? And go. Currently well, struggling. struggling. We're gonna get third time's a charm. There you go. All right, so guys, just not enough time for a fourth round of that circuit, but we are gonna get right into our abs. We got a nice one coming up. So you got one minute rest time starting at this moment now. Then we're gonna go ahead and get on and close this thing out. Great job so far. And if you really want that fourth round, we're gonna keep on after this camera's over with, and we're gonna hold ourselves accountable to get it in. But to stay respectful and on time tonight. We gotta go ahead and keep moving forward. So good job. Keep engaged. Let's finish this out strong, same way you started.
sound effects are very real. One more minute to finish that up. Use these last five minutes for stretching. Keep it up. Don't feel rushed. This is the end here. Don't force speed. I mean, don't force anything. Speed anything up. Get your quantity of your. I mean, the quality of your moves to get all sloppy. Don't worry about trying to, you know, mess up the quality to get more quantity. We want good quality reps. That way, you actually benefit from those reps. So keep working. Give you about another 45 seconds now, and then we we'll start our stretch.
starting out nice and flat, legs are out wide. Go to the edge. So reaching out, grabbing both feet, keeping those legs as straight as you possibly can at the same time. Don't overcompensate by bending the knee just to get to the toe. Only reach as far as you can, keeping those legs as straight as you can. You start to bend, you're going too far. Lunges today, quad stretch is going to be much needed. Right leg coming back, left leg forward. Go ahead and lean back as far as you can bear. Keeping that right leg on the mat, left leg straight. Those two one more time. Same thing. Go for a little less time on it. However, back to the right side. And then loosen up those quads.
knees plank. Stretching out those abs here, face down. My head is sunk. That is a wrap on today. Like I said, hold yourself accountable as we are here. Finish up that extra round that we had left over from our circuit. 10 plyo push-ups, lateral lunge with the high knee, 10 each side, no alternating, dips with the leg lift, four set, uh, 16 reps, alternating eight and eight, multifunctional lunges, six reps, going on that same side, all three reps is one, and then those six get downs. So one more time through with those. And then you can call it a night. We're going to go through ours here. But with that being said, never give up, never lose hope, and never settle. We will see you back here Thursday. And once you finish that last round, throw it in the comment section. You did complete it. All right? Thank you.